Try this one on for size. Our sun's north and south poles are about to flip-flop. That's right, if you were near the sun and had your compass pointed north, the dial would actually swing south. Joining us today from the Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, is NASA heliophysicist Dr. Alex Young. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. What is a magnetic field and why do we study them? Well, when you stick a magnet to a refrigerator, that happens because of this invisible field called a magnetic field. The sun has a magnetic field also. And the sun's magnetic field is incredibly complicated and dynamic, and it drives all of the activity that happens on the sun, space weather and solar storms. So we want to understand these magnetic fields so that we can understand these storms, why they happen, and uh, how powerful they could be. What causes the sun's magnetic field to flip? Well, inside the sun, it's not a solid body, so it rotates at different speeds at different places, and this generates the magnetic field via something called a solar dynamo. These magnetic fields are generated and they increase in strength rising to the surface, giving us sunspots, and this gives us the solar activity that we're talking about. This whole process happens over a time scale of roughly 11 years. We call this the solar cycle. The solar cycle goes from being very weak uh, with low activity to high activity, then back down to low activity. But what's exciting for us right now is that we are near this peak of activity and what also happens with that is that the orientation of the sun's magnetic field reverses itself, switches places. And so this is what's happening right now because we are near this solar maximum period. What does this mean for the Earth? Well, all of this activity, sun, solar flares, these bright flashes of uh, light, or coronal mass ejections, which are huge explosions of material, they don't impact us directly, but what they do impact is our technology. They can cause temporary disruptions in our communications, GPS, they can create a dangerous environment for astronauts in space, and they can also cause disruptions in our power grid. Now the one good side about that is it also gives us the aurora that we can see at the, so the no northern and southern poles. Well, where can we see more great images of the sun and learn about the current solar cycle? Well, a great place to go to find out all about this and see all of the great data we have in imagery is at www.nasa.gov slash sunearth. Thank you very much. Thank you.